we're going to show you today is vehicle level two, which is heavy vehicle rescue. Uh, the personnel here, they learn techniques on lifting heavy vehicles, utilizing uh, heavy duty wreckers for heavy vehicles, and how they incorporate into both. They use cribbing, bottle jacks, shores, which are structural rated shores, to perform all this work. Basically what they learn is if they don't have uh, access to a tow truck or the tow truck is not available once they arrive on scene, they learn the basic skills on how to start the evolution to lift the vehicle and separate. So that's basically what our concept is, is lift and separate. Basically what they do is it, it's almost like you're uh, uh, when you were a younger kid, you, you build your building blocks, you build them very nice and neat. Uh, which holds, uh, the cribbing holds a lot of weight. We have six by six cribbing uh, in a four point configuration, holds about 24,000 pounds. Six by six is 15,000 pounds per intersecting point. Uh, so when you, when you stack this cribbing, it, it can hold a tremendous amount of weight. The next procedure is they'll, they'll utilize either airbags or bottle jacks. Uh, typically we use 12 or 20 ton bottle jacks or the uh, appropriate airbag size to lift the load. The difference between a bottle jack versus airbag is in different spaces we may need we have space constraints and things of that nature or we have different lifting points that we can only use and a bottle jack may work better than an airbag but they both do uh, exactly what we ask them to do uh, as long as we're working within our parameters. They uh, start a controlled lift they lift the vehicle up once we uh, have the vehicle up we uh, in in the same time frame they're actually building a system to retrieve the vehicle so they to pull the vehicle out so once they get the vehicle out and separated we basically try to turn this into a normal extrication where they, we lift and separate typically once the uh, tow company arrives we we have the on-scene commander they go meet with the uh, operator of the tow vehicle get with them they say uh, exactly what they need to do what how they're going to help lift the vehicle and once that is uh, completed we assist them as they're doing that so we work in concert with each other tow versus fire and rescue world, we don't speak the same language. So basically what we have to do is we train with these guys wherever your specific jurisdiction is, you, you train with them so you get that common language. So when they say we, we are going to recover a casualty, a casualty to fire rescue is typically a person. A casualty to a heavy wrecker is the actual vehicle that they're trying to move. So we have to marry those two vocabularies together so we can come to a common place.